It is a practical example, Chief Justice. One candidate in a constituency in Nairobi moved around on a Sunday morning to every restaurant in that constituency. And everyone he found in that restaurant on that day, they give them 200 shillings, others 500. To every butchery, they find you queuing to get a kilo of meat, they give you 200, and so on. That can't be their own money, obviously, as, as it were. And if you, you followed the guy and you track their record, you discover they're one of the people that Kinoti is, is actually following up. But until Kinoti gathers enough information, some of the information we have is from intelligence. And, and the, the, my judge friends who are in the room tell me intelligence is not evidence. You see, so, so the question is, and then you are faced with this thing of you are using evidence you have acquired from illegal sources. So, so, so I don't know how we will win because, you see, we have intelligence, this is what is happening. We have intelligence, this is the kind of guy we are dealing with. I turn up at, uh, you know, uh, before my friend judge, he says this is evidence obtained from illegal sources. And then there's nothing I can do. This fellow continues to bribe people around. And, and as I said, honestly speaking, and I'm saying this as a responsible public servant, if we are not careful, it is going to become very, very difficult to manage especially elective institutions in this country. So the question is, how are we going to manage the governance of the country as we move forward? Because you, this campaign finance law, you will take it to parliament. Who is going to amend it? The same wash was guys who have arrived there. And, and, and so I know that that wash was culture is what actually got them into parliament in the first place. It's a debate. We just need to find out what to do. But, but the truth of the matter is that we notice these things, we see these things, and you're the ones who keep telling us all the time, intelligence is not evidence. Okay. Or it's evidence obtained through illegal means. So there we are. So I think if we came together and looked for mechanisms, maybe a long distance uh, review, and the regulatory framework for campaign financing might save this country.